art festivals abound in this historic European capital city. Join us as Artifications explores the birthplace of actionism right here in Vienna, Austria. Located on the banks of the majestic Danube River lies the capital city of Austria. Known as the city of music, Vienna has an extensive legacy of wonderful composers, including Mozart, Mahler, and Strauss. Originally a Celtic outpost, Vienna has long been a seat of power for successive waves of powerful groups, including the Badenberg dynasty, the Habsburg dynasty, and finally stood as the de facto capital of the Holy Roman Empire. In the mid-1960s, Vienna saw the advent of a transgressive form of art named actionism. This art form explores the dichotomy of purity and desecration in attempts to break ideas on societal norms. I'm not going to go too much into it, but I warn you, this art form is not for the faint of heart, especially considering that actual hearts may sometimes be used in these productions. Actionism ended itself as a movement in 1971 but its lineage can be traced through the works of such contemporary artists as Marina Abramovic. Today's Vienna is an amazing city, from its own museum quarter dedicated solely to the arts, to the myriad of galleries peppered all around the city. Today we honor its artistic legacy by examining two of its biggest art fairs, the illustrious Vienna Contemporary and its equally sprawling yet much more grassroots oriented sibling, the Parallel Art Fair. Let's go make some friends. <laughs> Contemporary. Oh. Exciting. The Vienna Contemporary is a fantastic and regal affair. As soon as you walk in, the cohesion of the color scheme plus the tremendous red carpet remind you that art is the primary guest of honor. Uh, Ekaterina Iragi and I'm uh, the owner and the director of the gallery Galerie Ragi. Well, the Vienna Contemporary is uh, making a focus every year. This year is on Hungary, the other year was on Bulgarians and uh, etc. Now the um, owner of the fair is Russian uh, collector, Dmitry Aksyonov. And uh, since he took over the fair, I mean, there have been more Russian galleries coming. And so he works on the bringing Russian collectors also to Vienna. The goal is always to uh, maintain the friendship uh, and the interest, show new ones, uh, make new friends, basically. That's what FAIR is about. The Vienna Contemporary keeps a very long list of artist talks, which adds the quality of the experience for anybody who's attending this event. My name is Alexandra Grausam, uh, and I'm the co-founder and director of the Schweizer House. I mean to say we have been with the exhibition program on six different places within these 10 years and we have shown, because we counted it now, because we make a publication, <laughs> it went 450 artists around in these 10 years and we had in these five years of the studio and residence program about 100 artists. So it's all together it's 550 and it doesn't include all the people which were supporting and working at the Gadweiser House. So it's really a lot of people which are, um, have been part of the Weisse House and made the Weisse House what it is, actually. Um, my name is Marius Sarmonas and I'm a curator coordinator at the gallery. Well, in general, this artwork and well, this artist is uh, uh, 
very interesting well in the way that she creates a situation rather than an image and then uh, in opposition to that well or in dialogue to that we have uh, these paintings and well it sort of creates a mix of both visual and well textual and well this emotional uh, feeling the reaction is really good people are well stopping and well looking at text looking at images looking at text and well what's your name what's my name you? is lisa kandelhofer and i my gallery name is gallery lisa kandelhofer it's been a really good experience we've done it the first time last year and we've won the Booth Prize for the Best Austrian Presentation. I mean, we've been working on this booth for a couple of months. Uh, Karl Kana, which you see in the background, um, has worked on this since almost half a year. I'm Eva Maria Schaller. Originally, I'm from Austria, but I live in Cologne since 10 years. And uh, me and my gallerist, which is also from uh, Cologne, Petra Martinez, we thought we don't do like a normal exhibition booth, but we build up an installation. And it's like a boxing ring. And there, our tasks are um, five-minute performances. For most galleries, the number one priority is just to be seen. Many of the galleries that I've spoken with have told me that this is not their first Vienna exposition. My name is Gabor Rieder and this is Art Plus Text Budapest and I'm editor at large at the gallery. I used to visit the Vienna Fair as journalist for, for many, many years. So right now we just focus on two uh, topics. One is the 80s, especially Neo Geo paintings from the 80s, and the other one is fresh, new, young, uh, contemporary artists. Hello, my name is Barbara Komarova and I work as assistant director for Gandhi Gallery. Uh, which is based in Bratislava, Slovakia. We are mostly representing artists from Central Europe, uh, but here in Central Europe, Vienna Contemporary is one of the biggest art fairs. So everybody, not just from our region, but from whole Europe, is uh, centering here, coming here to explore uh, Central European art artists and Central European galleries. So. I love working with Web Tigress. I mean, I thought I knew it all. That is, until I had a conversation with her, and she broke it down into three main parts I won't ever forget. Website design, social media management, and most importantly, content. As a social media Luddite, it's the Tigress approach that helps us and many others communicate effectively with our social media public. I particularly enjoy the ease of communication while discussing such topics as developing your personal brand reach. You can get a great deal just for being a listener of this podcast by visiting webtigress.com slash artifications. Webtigress, your first and last stop for successful web strategies. Just a half mile away is a parallel art exhibition. Parallel because it was actually founded in parallel with the Vienna Contemporary. While it's, of course, years younger, they have a very good relationship. And in some ways, uh, seems as a, almost a feeder program for the Vienna Contemporary. It has a staggering amount of artists and can better be explained by one of the founders. Let me introduce you to Danny. Um, I'm one of the organizers. I started this fair like five years ago with my friend Stefan Biedner. Um, and it started out as a little project. Uh, the idea was the name is called Parallel because it's parallel to Vienna Contemporary uh, as, a, as an addition, you know, so we are, we're not competitors. And so a lot of galleries who take part at the Contemporary also take part um, uh, with us. As, a, as I said, we, we are like trying to, to give uh, young artists a platform to present themselves. And a, a lot of, uh, some of these artists don't have a gallery, so we are like, we are trying to close the gap uh, in a way. Let's start with the actual location. It's 10 full floors of art, multiple exhibition spaces on each floor. And My name is Patrick Schabos and I'm an artist and this is an artistic statement. The Parallel Vienna invited me as an artist to do something in this room. 
and I worked for three weeks in this room and built all the works in this room were built by me using material I found in this house. My name is Philip Mensingen. I'm an artist living in Vienna and part of the Vienna art scene, it's tradition to show at parallel. When you move into the scene here, it's a completely, it's a very progressive scene, unlike in Germany. And of course, this work arrived, you know, after five years of trying to work through with oil, you know, the traditional oil painting media. I had to throw caution to the wind and dump it all eventually because I had to jump over my own shadow of what I thought painting was in Germany. So hello, uh, uh, my name is Lionel Favre, I'm from Switzerland and uh, I'm Austrian as well, I have double uh, nationality. I liked that uh, until the 19th, uh, the, the, the technical drawings were handmade. And this is uh, something that is getting lost. Everybody is working now uh, with AutoCAD. And uh, before, the, the, there was engineers which were more talented than others. And if you look in all technical documents, there are some details which are not even uh, relevant but it makes the, the works uh, stronger or more pretty. I try to, to, to save all these documents, uh, these analog documents, from the trashes, because uh, all of them I found them in the trash. And to their credit, every space had ample representation by the gallery owners, who always spoke intelligently about their artists. <laughs> My name is uh, Kalina Stralkowski uh, and I'm the owner of a printing yeah, studio. Yeah. It is called uh, Kurt Zein and uh, it's a very traditional uh, and old um, studio actually. And this was a very spontaneous project now from the parallel. They asked me last Sunday if I want to have a room. I said um, I want to print. Um, the artists are sitting here and they can use different instruments to scratch the plates. Yeah, Vienna has a very quite big artist scene. Um, also the young artist scene is growing. Uh, the parallel is more like, a, um, like an underground scene. Yeah. Vienna is an amazing city as evidenced by the Parallel Art Fair and the Vienna Contemporary. It's a city that not only allows its artists to survive, but enables them to thrive. You'll find this environment in all of Austria's capital cities. And here of the vantage point of New York, it all seems so tangible. And of course it does. That's part of our mission statement here at Artifications. Simply to make the art world just a little smaller. Besides, you can't spell Earth without art. If you like what you've seen here, share it amongst all your friends. You can find all our social media links at artifications.us. And if you have uh, any upcoming exhibitions, please leave a message below or simply email us at connect at artifications.us. Keep creating.